inspired us. They played really hard for her. She got us back in a rhythm, and, and I think K-State felt the pressure of the crowd because the crowd got into it, and um, we got the momentum back and made a hell heck of a run. And it doesn't surprise me because this team is – they, they, they really want to fight for each other. And I think that, I don't think there's a better example of seeing it, you know, in front of 8,000 people and against a really good team. And K-State is a very good team. They serve really, really well. Um, they've got really nice hitters. Uh, their setter does a great job. Their Obero is fantastic. So that was, a, that was a great win for us. And then you hit the wall with like her sets or what? I just think it's fatigue. I mean, she hasn't played in over a year, you know. Uh, last night we did 6-2 for two games, so she just hasn't been, you know. Playing setter as a freshman is a tough deal. That's why there's only been one setter ever as a freshman that started here. And, you know, she's sitting on the bench with me. So uh, I just think mentally, physically, she just hit the wall. And, uh, um, but, that's why they call it a team, and um, you know, it's something Ani will remember the rest of her life on, that, on you know that comeback because that's that's gonna that's a heck of a comeback. And she, and she set great. I mean, she she was in the zone. I mean, every set was perfect, and that's why I'd like to know our hitting percentage with her hit setting. I mean, it had to be astronomical. How long did you be making that switch, and what made you finally put on here? Uh, just talking to the coaches and Kelly, uh, just we kept asking Kennedy if she was how she was feeling. Of course, she's she's a warrior, so she's like, I feel good. I want to go, and and it just that last set to Lexi there that she just you know, it, was, it was just a mindless set. So uh, I, I knew she hit the wall. And you saw Lindsey Crosby hit the wall tonight too. I mean, it's, they're freshmen, and they're they're not used to. That was an intense match as a grinder. Um, so go learn from that and but the other person that you know I gotta keep finding ways to get on the court is, is Keone Lay. I mean a kid she had she had a heck of a weekend. And she will this you know, serving line, she will this game game four there. People assume that that would be really tough for all of you to come in like that in the middle of the fourth set with your dad. Would you agree that it's hard to come in? It's like really that? hard. Like, well she's been sitting for two hours. And um, just the setters need rhythm, and you know, uh, so it's really hard. But you know, she really trusted it, and um, she's a tough kid, and and she's a good little setter. And she just came in, and you know, we see that in practice. But she executed in the game, which is it's pretty cool. She got the EMF belt after that match. What do, you, what do you think it was like for K-State to have to defend some of Kayla Caffey's shots today? Yeah, I mean, she, the only people that stop her is our setters. I mean, they get her in the ball in the right spot. I mean, she's so good at moving it around. And, you know, her, her uh, she improved her vertical jump this summer by three inches. She's playing lightning fast. She's developed into a really good blocker. I mean, you talk about one of our most improved players, it might be her. Are these the kind of matches that you're thankful that the freshmen get to experience what you want to get out of these first couple weekends? Yeah, absolutely. This is, uh, you know, it's a match like this, I don't know if we could script it any better, you know, to, to come back. Because this this will give them a deep confidence that, hey, no matter how bad it's going, you know, we can still pull it out and uh, change the, you know, we got blown out in game three. And, and you know. I, I had a good feeling of even if it went five, we would win because I just I trust Maddie and Lexi and uh, the Middles and uh, Kenzie Knuckles that those guys would just find a way to will it. And um, but you know, they did in Game Four. How, how big was it to have the crowd stir stir up, stir up a little bit in that fourth set when you got it going? Well, you know, I know it was disappointing Game Three and we kind of lost them. And uh, when K-State called their first time out, I think it was 1860, and I said, you guys get tie this up, get a couple more points, this crowd's gonna go nuts. And I said, you gotta get the crowd back into it, and they did. And it's the advantage of playing at home in the van. How'd it feel to have Justine and a gold medal in the van? Yeah, the first time? that gold medal's beautiful, you know, and she, our fans gave her a, it was loud down there, so. 
she just lost them. I, she, I, I was talking to her. She was at my office earlier. I mean, I think she's still in the, in the dream. She's like she's in a dream still. I mean, she is just giddy and uh, I, I'm not sure she really realizes what happened. And, um, but anyway, it's just it's awesome to have her back and, um, and looking forward to getting Jordan back uh, in uh, October 1st, I think. What, what did Kiana do from the service line? She had a big run in last night's match and then had another one today. What, what is she doing so well and makes her effective from the service line? She's just developed into a great a great server. And um, I had her go on cross court. She was running points. And at the end there, we wanted to, we had a different matchup. So I had to go down the line. And she's got a great cross court serve. And her down the line serve is just OK. But uh, I mean, she gave him fits. She got the ace. I mean, that was a, that thing dropped out. I mean, there's no, nobody's going to pass that ball. So she just has great hand, hand contact and was thumping it. And that's what happens when you do that. You get a lot of movement and you get that knuckleball. And she got one that dropped, one that rose, and really put K State on her heels. Before, I mean, before Lindsay hit that wall, I mean, she had a couple big sets. I mean, every time it was tied late in that second set, she delivered a kill too. Before she hit that wall, I mean, how well was she playing? I thought she was playing great, but I could just I could see the wheels were spinning a little bit with her. I think she made five straight errors. Mm -hmm. And, and she's got to learn from that. You know, we got a part of it. It might have been Kennedy's sets. Like it's hard for me to tell where I'm at, but she's got to learn to deal if she gets a tough set, not just make an error. But she takes good swings, and you know that that kid is a competitor. I mean, she competes. But again, mentally, they got to learn how to play at a high level for a long period of time. And the only, only way you can do that is grinding in practice and getting matches like this.